Prince Harry and wife Meghan faces another charges which might lead them to jail. Royal sources reports that the Sussexes are at the verge of spending their entire life in jail. Harry and Meghan have no steady source of income, they became frustrated and worthless from the day they ceased benefiting from the royal house. Sources confirmed that Meghan had always wanted to seek revenge on the royal family for taking off their rights as royalties. There's no better way she could do it rather than trespassing on the royal property which is a grievous offence and they will as well face the consequences. According to King Charles, he can go about it following his own method, which is by asking the Sussexes to pay the money worth the property without involving any legal procedures. But as the law demands, Harry and Meghan will face the consequences of their actions and also pay for the damages they've caused to the royal family. However, others claimed that Meghan aims at disappearing from the royal family as a whole and her main target was to seek revenge and also to make herself financially stable in any opportunity she gets, but all her plans happen to fail. Furthermore, the US government could be forced to unseal Prince Harry's US visa application in court following his drug-taking revelations in his memoir spare. A federal judge will hear the case on June the 6th, Niall Gardner, director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation, said. Oh. The think tank has been looking to confirm the Duke of Sussex's use of cocaine, marijuana, and magic mushrooms was correctly detailed on his visa application, the Daily Express US reports. US visa applications can be denied over drug taking, although it is not a hard and fast rule. Mr. Gardner, formerly an aide to Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, tweeted on Tuesday, Prince Harry immigration records case will be held in Washington, D.C. federal court in front of a U.S. federal judge. The Heritage Foundation has been a heavy critic of Harry's drug revelations after they were detailed in spare in January. Earlier this year, an immigration expert told The Telegraph that the Duke should have been denied residency in the U.S. if he failed to disclose his drug use and could see it revoked if he lied. But a source close to Harry said the 38-year-old had been truthful when he told U.S. officials about his past drug use. The Duke described how he used drugs as a way of dealing with his mother Princess Diana's death in his memoir spare. Harry, who was just 12 years old when Diana died in 1997 in a Paris car crash, also noted his past dealings with drugs during a therapy session with trauma expert Dr. Gabber Mate. Cocaine didn't do anything for me, it was more a social thing and gave me a sense of belonging for sure, I think it probably also made me feel different to the way I was feeling, which was kind of the point, he told Dr. Mate. Marijuana is different, that actually really did help me.